Hi guys and welcome to another video on data mining the social media with Python. And today we are going to talk about measuring influence and engagement. So one of the most commonly mentioned characters in the social media arena is the mythical influencer or influencer marketer. This figure is responsible for a paradigm shift in recent marketing strategies can uh, read more about it in the this link here I'll just close this down so you'll get an idea about what an influence market is so influence market has a focus on targeting key it's about targeting key individuals rather than the market as a whole so influencers are typically active users within their community in the case of Twitter and influencer tweets a lot about topics they care about. Influencers are well connected as they follow and are followed by many other users who are also involved in the community. In general, an influencer is also regarded as an expert in their area and is typically trusted by other users. So this description should explain why influencers are important part of recent trends in marketing. An influencer can increase awareness or even become an advocate for a specific product or brand and can reach a vast number of supporters. So whether your main interest is Python programming or wine tasting, regardless how huge or small your social network is, you probably probably already have an idea of who the influencers in your social circles are. A friend, acquaintance, or random stranger on the internet whose opinion you trust and value because of their expertise in the given subject. A different but somehow related concept is engagement. User engagement or customer engagement is the assessment of the response to a particular offer, such as a product or service. In the context to the social media, pieces of content are often created with the purpose to drive traffic towards the company website or e-commerce. Measuring engagement is important as it helps in defining and understanding strategies to maximize the interactions with your network and ultimately bring business. On Twitter, user, users engage by means of retweeting or liking a particular tweet, which provides more visibility to the tweet in return. So in this tutorial, we'll talk, discuss some interesting aspects of social media analysis regarding the possibility of measuring influence and engagement. On Twitter, a natural thought would be to associate influence with the number of users in a particular network. Intuitively, a high number of followers means that a user can reach more people but it doesn't tell us how a tweet is perceived. So I've written a, um, a script here. And pause the video if you want to follow along and I'll scroll down and try to uh, explain something. And this is the usual setup with the usage and message back to the user how to use the, 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 the script and it takes two arguments, two users. So after reading the two screen names from the command line, we build up a list of followers for each of them, including the number of followers to calculate the number of reachable users up to this. This is the part. And the next step we is about loading some basic statistics, followers count and statuses count from the two user profiles. One. And then we load the timelines 
for the two users to observe the number of times their tweets have been favorited or retweeted. This is uh, get uh, when we use the Twitter get user timeline uh, script from earlier tutorial. This is the script that it's uh, using. So make sure that you have two users that you want to analyze and you have run the get Twitter uh, user.py file and Twitter get user timeline script on those two so that you have them under the users, users um, folders in your uh, fol uh, folder or, or the folder where you're working, in the directory that you're working with these um, scripts. So, and the next is about proceed, the, uh, then the, the numbers that we get from the preceding uh, sections are then aggregate into to the average number of favorites and retweets both in absolute terms and per number of followers so like I said this script takes two arguments from the command line and assumes that the data has already been downloaded uh, with the, these files So you need, for both users, you need the data about followers that you get from the Twitter get user.py file and their respective user timelines downloaded with the Twitter get user timeline.py script. The script is somehow verbose as it computes the same operations for two profiles and prints everything on the terminal. We can break it down into two parts. Firstly, we will look into the followers' followers. This will provide some information related to the part of the network immediately connected to the given user. In other words, it should answer the question, how many users can I reach if my followers retweet me? We will achieve this by reading the user slash user followers json.l file which is here mm, sorry here and like i said it's it's uh, saved in this folder this is the user folder And keeping a list of tuples where each tuple represents one of the followers and is in the screen name and followers count form. Keeping the screen name at this stage is useful in case we want to find out who the users with the highest number of followers are. Not computed in the script, but easy to produce using sorted. So in the second step, we will read the user profile from the users slash and the username slash user profile, which is here. So that we can get the information about the total number of followers and tweets. With the data collected so far, we can compute the total and number of users who are reachable within one degree of separation follower of a follower and the average number of followers of a follower and this is achieved via the this, the following lines which is the sum reach and average followers line and the first one uses a list comprehensions to iterate through the list of tuples mentioned earlier while the second one is simple a simple arithmetic average rounded up to two decimal points so the third part of the script reads the user timeline 
just start from here. This is the third part we are talking about. From this this uh, this this file, and it collects information about the number of retweets and favorite for each tweet. And putting everything together allows us to calculate the number of times the user has been retweeted or favorited and the average number of retweets, favorites per tweet and per follower. So to provide an example, I perform some vanity analysis and compare my account to packet publishing. And we run the script. By using this and this uh, produces this output so as you can see the raw number of followers shows no contest with packet publishing having more followers than me and also when we compare the average number of retweets and favorites they are also much better at me at their engagement user engagement packet pub publishing is much have much more engaged uh, followers than me but if you look at the user's reach my number is quite high because average number of followers of my followers are 57,000 and packet public is 640 so I have a reach so uh, <laughs> the, to me this means I should be getter, better at creating better content so I can utilize my followers uh, the reach much better and get them to retweet because having the right kind of followers on Twitter is much better than just having a huge uh, uh, amount of followers, I guess. But here, uh, I think Packet Pub uh, is doing a lot of things right because they have a higher follower count and also much better engagement account that, uh, amount than me. So this is what I can analyze at the moment, but I will surely dig more into it. So this is it for this tutorial. And I hope you have enjoyed it. And please do like, share, comment, uh, and subscribe to the channel to support me. So see you guys in the next video. Thanks.